Creations. If you're new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you every time I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today I'm bringing to you a DIY using these candles that you can get from the Dollar Tree. This DIY hands down is probably one of my favorite gifts to give. The outcome is absolutely beautiful and it's gonna cost you anywhere from eight to $12 depending on the size. I can't wait to show you what I do with these candles from the Dollar Tree, and I'll also be using an item that I just recently hauled from Michaels. It's a very budget-friendly item, and the outcome of this is so rustic, so farmhouse. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into it. Make sure to head on over to Allie's channel after this video because boy oh boy is she having fun in her attic this week. You can find the link to her video in the description box below. For this DIY, I'll be using these farmhouse mason jar containers that you can get from Michaels for $6 on sale. If they're not on sale, use a 50% off coupon and you'll still get them for $6. I also like to use these milk jug containers as well. These are a great alternative. It's just about preference. I'll also be using some of these daisy flowers that you can find in Michaels dollar bins. Five of Dollar Tree's yellow glass candles and some twine. I'm gonna start off by melting down the five yellow candles using the double broiler method. I'm gonna do this on a low temperature heat. When melting down wax, you really wanna take your time and do it on a lower temperature. You don't wanna be in too much of a hurry because the results are gonna show in the end when you're pouring your wax into your new container. After about 15 minutes, You'll see that your wax is really starting to melt down at the bottom there. Perfect, you don't want it to go much faster than this. And after about 30 minutes, you'll see that your wax is a bit more than halfway melted down. Perfect, this is right where we wanna be at the 30 minute mark, really taking our time to melt down the wax because I promise you, the outcome is going to be so much better than if you speed up the melting process. Once the candles have reached the halfway point of melting, you can take a skewer and you can loosen up the wax right around the top of the candle and this will allow you to push the wax down into the jar so it's down where the water is in the pot and this will help speed up the process of melting that top portion of the wax. You could also use your finger by gently pressing on the top of the wax and pushing it down into the jar as well. Once you've got the remaining wax pushed down into the jar, it really shouldn't take much more than 10 minutes for the rest of the wax to melt. It's been about 10 minutes and my wax is completely melted down, so now I'm gonna remove the wicks from each of the candles and reuse them. Kind of a win-win, you're getting wax and a wick for a dollar when you use these candles from the Dollar Tree. Because these candles from the Dollar Tree don't come scented, I'll be using this essential oil aromatherapy fragrance and I'm using an energizing fragrance. An alternative to these is to use the luminescence oil from the Dollar Tree. I've seen it in vanilla, linen, apple spice, for a dollar, you can't beat it, and it's a great way to scent these candles. Now, before adding any of your essential oils or your fragrances, you're gonna wanna make sure and turn off your heat and remove your pot from the heat. It may seem excessive, but because I want a real fragrant candle and I love this scent, I'm gonna add about 50 drops of this essential oil to each of these glass candles. This essential oil that I'm using is one that I got at Walmart. It's a nice size bottle and I paid $4.87 for it. I'm using an essential oil blend today and it's a blend of spearmint, peppermint, and lemon, which is an energizing blend. Not only is it energizing, but it smells amazing. 
Once I've added all of my oils to my wax, I'm gonna give it a nice stir with a skewer just to mix in those oils with the wax. These wicks are a nice size wick, so we have plenty of wick to work with for this project. I'm just gonna place the wick inside my jar and to secure it into the jar and keep it in place, I'm gonna break in half one of my skewers and you just wanna wrap your wick around the skewer and this is gonna keep it in place, it's gonna keep it from moving once you add your wax to your jar. Now it's time to add the wax that we melted down to the jar, so I'm just gonna pour it right into my mason jar with the wick in it. It took one and a half of Dollar Tree's candles to fill each mason jar with wax. I'm gonna set my candles aside. I'm gonna let them solidify. If you're in a hurry and you want them to solidify a bit quicker, you can put them in the refrigerator. These next few steps are completely optional. I'm gonna embellish this just a bit because I feel like it really gives it that personal touch, that homemade, handmade feeling. So I'm gonna take some of Dollar Tree's twine and I'm gonna hot glue it around the lid itself. I'm not gonna wrap it below the lid. I wanna keep the twine completely on the lid so that way I have the capability of taking the lid on and off. It's funny how adding just that bit of twine changes and adds so much to these jars. I also like to embellish each of the caps with a little something and so for these caps I'm gonna be using these daisy flowers that I got from Michaels in their dollar bins. And I just hot glued one onto each of the lids themselves on top of the twine. I did it to all three lids. If you wanna just do it to the center lid, you could do that too. Again, it's just preference. Now for the wood container here on the front and the back, I like to embellish them a bit and there's several different ways that you can go about doing this. Dollar Tree's got a really great selection of 2D and 3D stickers that would work perfect for this. They've really got them for every occasion. Can't go wrong, I love these here. These work perfectly on the front and the back of the wood bin. Another great alternative are these sticker letters. I picked these up from Joann's at 50% off. I spent $3 on these. There's 156 letters in this pack. Fantastic buy for $3, a great alternative to the Cricut if you don't have one and you wanna add a personalized saying on it, this is the way to do it. Because I got a Cricut maker for Christmas for my kids, that's what I'm gonna use to embellish this today. I cut out a really cool design on some white vinyl. This is an adhesive vinyl that I'll be using that will apply easily to the wood of this bin. And I do want to let you all know that if I do happen to incorporate my Cricut into my DIYs like I am today, I will most definitely be sure to give you some alternatives to using it, budget-friendly alternatives. Because I cut this design out of vinyl, I have to put the vinyl onto a clear vinyl transfer so I can transfer it onto whatever it is that I want to put it on. And so that's what I'm doing here. This design here, comes with my subscription that I pay $9.99 a month for in Cricut Design Space. It gives you full access to thousands and thousands of fonts and designs and just you name it, you get access to it. And so that's something that I subscribe to and I thought that this would be perfect for one side of this bin. On this side, I decided to go with some wording and I really liked just putting hope, love, and faith and so before I filled up these jars with the candle, I put them in the bin because I really wanted to kind of center the words with the jar. And for this here spot where the O would be for love, I thought I'd fill it in with a heart. My candles are completely solidified and hardened and you can tell that because I melted the wax down at a low temperature, there are no sinkholes in my candle. And again, like I said earlier, sinkholes do happen when you melt down your wax 
too fast on too high of a heat. All that's left to do is to put my lids on my candles and I gotta tell you, I love these lids for a couple of different reasons. One, because I feel like they just look really rustic and farmhouse and two, because of the top, you can still easily burn your candle without removing the lid. And there you have it. I love the outcome of this DIY. This is definitely one of my favorite DIYs to do that I never really get tired of making because you can really get creative with what you do with this. The wax is such a buy when you buy it at the Dollar Tree. We spent $5 on wax. It was already colored. Dollar Tree has several different colors in this wax. You can see here that I also did it in green. This is using the Dollar Tree green candles. $5 on wax, including a wick. If you were to buy a block of wax at Joann's or Michael's, you're gonna spend well over $20 for it. That's not including the color of the wax and the scent. Didn't this DIY turn out absolutely beautiful? I love the outcome of this. This is one of those DIYs, again, that is such a versatile DIY that you can really do to suit anybody's decor style. I love these containers and these holders that you can get from Michaels and really it's best to wait until they're on sale so you can get them for 50% off and you're only paying the $6 for them. And depending on the size, whether you use the milk jugs or these mason jars, really is dependent on if you pay $8 or $12. I think that this is definitely one of those gifts that people would be absolutely floored when you told them that it was handmade. I hope you all enjoyed today's DIY using these candles that you can get from the Dollar Tree. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because those thumbs up, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.